Well, that Donald Trump is prone to gaffes and bloopers is by now well known. Yesterday, in fact, he became a victim of, of his own fake news. Trump misrepresented facts when he told journalists in Washington, D.C., in the presence of the Pakistani Prime Minister, that the Indian Prime Minister had asked him uh, on the margins of the G20 summit in Osaka uh, to resolve and mediate the Kashmir issue, as we've been just pointing out, prompting a rejection from India. Now, Alyssa Ayers, who works uh, with a U.S.-based think tank called the, the Council for Foreign Relations, uh, was quick to call out Trump. She wrote, and I quote, uh, tough issues in diplomacy can't be solved on the fly and require careful attention to facts and to history. Unfortunately, today's press availability showed something quite to the contrary. Now, barely a week ago, Trump had made a similar blunder. He posted a tweet and, uh, and social media users mocked him for that almost immediately. Trump tweeted, and I quote, about after a 10-year search, the so-called mastermind of the Mumbai terror attack has been arrested in Pakistan. Great pressure has been exerted over the last two years to find him. That Hafiz Saeed roams around freely in Pakistan and is aided and abetted by elements in the Pakistani state was lost on Trump. That is not all. During his 4th July uh, U.S. Independence Day speech, Trump claimed that the army took over the airports from the British during the Revolutionary War in the late 1700s, more than a century before the first flight. Air travel did not occur in the U.S. until early in the 1900s. The Wright brothers flew the world's first plane in 1903. So there you have it. He's wrong by an entire two centuries. And while well, trade tariffs on Harley-Davidson motorcycles, H-1B visa, data localization, Donald Trump has uh, well flagged some of these issues as irritants in the U.S.-India bilateral ties. But it is Trump's recent comments about a possible U.S. mediation in Kashmir that have uh, become the red rag to New Delhi. The eminently avoidable controversy comes just a few weeks before the Indian Prime Minister's proposed visit to the U.S. for the United Nations summit, on the margins of which he will likely meet Donald Trump. Uh, for New Delhi, Jammu and Kashmir is an integral part of India. Pakistan is an illegal occupation of a part of Jammu and Kashmir. It is an issue that needs to be resolved by Pakistan and India, and therefore it was and remains a bilateral issue.